$180, man. $180. This is real. This is real, man. Let's check out the inside. Mileage a little high, man. Got over 220 on the dash. But um, you know, it was a chance, man. Like I'm, you know, I'm planning, you know, I'm planning on flipping this car. But you have to take a chance, you know. Um, for the price, I was like, you know what? I gotta make this happen. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't even cleaned it out, but as far as the leather and everything, man, I can shine this up, bring this back up. You know what I'm saying? This is an 06 Nissan Altima. You know what I'm saying? So, got the two pipes coming out the back. You know what I mean? She ready, man. So, not a bad car. I don't think a bad deal. You know what I'm saying? But there's some things I got to fix. There's some things I notice. I just noticed this right here. It's got to be tightened up. That's minor, man. That's minor. Nothing, no biggie, nothing that I can't fix. The sunroof, everything works pretty good. Let me pop this hood. I really can't show you much of my hand, but my hand is still messed up from the go-kart, so I really can't work on nothing. Ready to work on the Chevy, but that ain't going to happen right now. So, it doesn't have anything to prop the hood up with, so let me... that up like that now the cover is off this is in the trunk so it's like exposing stuff man i got wires right here i don't think it's nothing crazy but one thing i do notice is that right here on the throttle body it makes a noise when it's on i'm gonna have to jump it man because this battery i don't know if it's about to blow but as you can see it got a hole in it right there got a hole in it so I'm not even gonna be trying to crank it up, but I noticed, man, it's making a whine noise. And when I push this wire in, it stopped. So I may got some issues in this wiring. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know yet. Yo, my bad for the ashy hands, yo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, been out here trying to work on some stuff, yo. Y'all know what it is. But look, yo, um, I'm at the go over this stuff. I checked the oil. I don't see no oil mixing with um any water or anything. So, you know, I got to do some stuff to it, man. But it runs, it drive. I drove it home, but it runs like crazy. The cold, I put my cold meter on it. Yo, go buy one of these things, man. If y'all getting into cars, you got to get one of these right here. This thing was 20 bucks, man. 20 bucks off Walmart.com. It gave me the code P0300. And that's, it gave me the, that's a multiple misfire code. So my issues is something dealing with the misfire or causing the misfire. And it could be a numerous, number, numerous of things could be causing this problem. You know what I'm saying? It could be from, could be the throttle body. Uh, could be, a lot of people go with this first, uh, the core packs. So when I got three right there. And I got other three back here. So that's going to be a, damn. It look like this whole intake or whatever might have to come off to be able to get to those ones in the back. But I got three right here. They're going to have to be replaced. Um, a lot of this stuff I noticed, like this may came from a junkyard. So like I said, man, I got to go through, see exactly what I got. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick video, man, of this $180 project that I got. And like I said, man, you've seen the body. You've seen everything. If I had to jump this damn thing, I mean, hell, I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Even if I had to junk it. So, other than that, she looks good. I just going to have to just take my time with her. Just like anything else, once my hand healed, I could be able to really get in here and really go to work. But I've seen where I can get the core packs online for cheap. i seen $60, man. I don't even give a damn if it's a knockoff brand or what. If it's going to work, I'm willing to try because these things is high for us initial core packs, man. So, um, I don't know. We're going to see, man, what's going on with it. I just want to share this with y'all, man. And I'm going to let y'all hear that whining in the next video that I do. It's a loud whining, man, but I know I went, I pressed up this, I didn't have it, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna get a battery. 
or if I don't get a battery in between the next time I do this video, I'm going to at least jump it, let you guys hear the whining, and maybe somebody will know the issue with it or whatever. Um, I'm going to continue to look it up, but I know it's coming from this starter body. Even when I unplug this wire, and I noticed when I unplug this wire right here, it's a clip. I can't do it with my other hand, but it's a freaking... How in the hell did I do that shit? Yeah, that's a clip. I got a... There we go. Got it off. Um, Even when I took this off, the engine died down, and I couldn't even press the gas anymore. So, and the noise was coming from in here. So, I don't know exactly what this is, but... And here's a bolt right here. And it could be air getting from it. I know there's a bolt right here missing. So... Hey, how you doing now? So, yo, it's gonna be some um, some 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 things I gotta do, and it may be letting air get in between here. Look at all this. It's all this slack. Look at all this. Look at all this, man. All this. Look at this. Wow, wow. All this come right up. So none of this was even, you know, um, was even hooked up right. So throughout my observation and things that I've looked at on YouTube. I'm going to go with the throttle body and the core packs and plugs. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to go with, man. But I'm going to do, you know, while my hand is healing, I'm going to be doing more and more, you know, um, research and trying to find out what the issue is. But I know it's a whining noise coming from inside this throttle body right here. That's a fact. Even when I unplug this. But I'm definitely going to check the wire in here, see what's going on or whatnot. But um, it's definitely something dealing with this, man. It's a bolt missing right there. I know that can't be good. Oh, this got to be sealed together. And I imagine it needed, It probably got to be tightened to a um, torque, basically. So I don't know. You know what I mean? But I'm definitely going to do my research on it, seeing what I have missing. Because it's a little like some stuff that's, I don't know. I don't know if this hose is supposed to be here like that. I I don't know. Um, I don't know, you guys. So, this is going to be a project. I'm hoping that's going to be successful, man. Y'all see this car? This is a nice-ass flip. So, I still got my PT Cruiser that, you know what I'm saying, that can go. Because if I can get this thing right, I'm going to take the Nissan. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ride this Nissan. So, you know, for a little while till I be able to get something. Now, that is how the game works, man. Whatever I get, I'm going to drive. I'm going I'm to I'm drive it. You know what I'm saying? So, if I can get it, be able to flip it, you know what I mean? That's cool. Um, but I, I'm looking at 2000 the best off if I can get this bad boy right. If I can get it right, man, that's what I'm looking at for, man. And I can go on from there, you know what I'm saying, continue the flipping process. But like I said, the PT Cruiser, you know, I may have that on the market as well. So, um... I don't know. I'm going to be doing some work to her. Let you guys know. Comment below, man, if you got any questions or any suggestions, man. Let's spark a conversation, man, and we can talk about this. Um, sorry for the quality of the video, man. I am outside a little windy today out here, but I was just so freaking anxious to show you guys this. And I had to do something, man. My hand, like I said, I messed my hand up on the go-kart. I'm going to do a video explaining that too, man, how, how I did that, how the freak accident happened. And so you guys will not do the same damn mistake i did man but in the meanwhile man um i'm gonna be doing dissect this issue because this right here is the biggest issues why this engine is running like real shaky um when i hit the gas it still seems to have power so i'm not gonna sit here and say the engine is bad or whatever i felt like the you know the guy that i got it from was kind of young he really didn't know cars and i'm hoping that is the scenario just something that they didn't want to get fixed with it and let it go for dirt cheap but like i said if i fail if this is a lemon you know it is what it is um i can still sell the body for more than 180 dollars hell i can part this month i can part this bitch out and you know what i'm saying and, and, and definitely i mean come on now look at the body here the body is no dings no dents you know what i'm saying nothing like that nothing no dings no dents no anything man so like I said, the interior, one little rip right there, 
everywhere else is man can be cleaned up, man. The steering wheel, all this can be shined up. You know what I'm saying? All this can be done right. So I got a deal, man. And um, you guys, I'm up out of here, man. You guys be safe out there, man. You already know, wash your hands. You know what I mean? Do what you got to do to stay safe, man. Peace out.